Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about well, those waiting for updates regarding the J36 development program, well, here it is. This is the fourth known test flight of the J36 sixth generation stealth fighter the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation is developing. This is one of China's two sixth generation stealth fighter in development. In the latest video, this is the clearest and the closest video we have so far for the futuristic advanced fighter. In the video, the J-36 is jaw-dropping just a few meters above ground, weaving between cars. This type of video, or call them controlled leak, and the video and images are circulating on Chinese social media of Weibo, sparking national and pride and at the same time sending chilling message to its rivals. I call this controlled leak because China has been known to have strict control on secretive military equipment shared in social media in the past. But this time, they allow this to be seen by local citizens in the international world. So, they must have their own reasons why. In this video, we should take a closer look again of the J-36 and speculate since this is the clearest video we have so far regarding the aircraft. The J-36 sixth generation fighter is larger than most Chinese fighter jets. The speculation is that it would have a much longer range and larger weapon capacity. It is expected to reach as far as Guam to target American bases. The J-36 is rumored to be designed as a fighter that can do long-range engagement, used beyond visual range capability by carrying one of China's longest range air-to-air -air missile the PL-17 with maximum range of 400 kilometers on its internal weapon bay, something the J-20 can even carry internally and remain stealthy. The J-36 is also expected to carry hypersonic missile for mission like penetrate enemy air defense system or engage them stealthily without the enemy realizing the fighter is even there or engage them without getting into the range of their air defense system. The J-36 uses a tailless and sleek delta wing design that lacks horizontal stabilizer. It means they prioritize much improved stealth than maneuverability because 6th generation fighters are not intended to dogfight. Instead, they are designed to engage on beyond visual range without being seen by enemy raiders. The lack of horizontal stabilizer would be a challenge for flight stability and maneuverability, especially during low and slow flight. But to compensate stability during this situation, they will use much improved computerized fly-by-wire system probably using AI and also probably using 2D thrust vectoring engine. The J-36 is larger so it could serve as stealth fighter and also stealth bomber due to its long range and large weapon capacity. This combination is unusual to Western audience, but this makes sense and speaks a lot about the threat what China is preparing for. The capacity to deny American ships, aircraft, and take out American bases within the 1,000 to 2,000 kilometer range from the mainland as part of their broader A280 system or anti-axis area denial within the first and second island chain. This is according to Dr. Emily Carter, an aerospace analyst at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. Also, the J-36 will employ the unusual three-engine configuration that could probably use the WS-10C engine or the WS-15. The third engine of the J-36 could be used to super cruise while remaining stealthy over a much prolonged period of time. The third engine could also allow the J-36 to generate more power to the aircraft. This could allow it to serve as command center to other fifth-generation stealth fighters in the battlefield for better coordinated attacks. It could also control drones around the area as its loyal wingman or use them for swarm attack of drones. Also, probably allow it to carry high-energy weapon in the future such as laser weapon. While the J-36 could also cruise on two engines only to be more stealthy at slower speeds and increased range due to fuel efficiency. The J-36 is estimated to have a length of around 66 to 85 feet carry 100,000 to 120,000 pounds of bombs, it has an estimated maximum speed of at least Mach 2.2 .2 or 2,700 kilometers per hour, or possibly much higher since it has three engines, and it has also an estimated maximum range of 4,000 to 4,500 kilometer range due to its larger size, and it could also have a combat range of 1,800 to 2,200 kilometer range. The J-36 features two side air intakes and dorsal intake on top. 
it probably would also use more improved stealth coatings and materials. The J-36 fast phase development comes after the U.S. just publicly announced their F-47 fighter, the American NGAD or Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter. The contract was awarded to Boeing instead of Lockheed Martin. But the United States is still debating its cost and role because the previous estimates, the fighter would cost around $250 million to $350 million if they wanted an air superiority sixth-generation fighter against its adversaries. But the cost would be unbearable for the Pentagon, so it means they couldn't field them in large numbers just like the F-22 with only 195 fighters were produced. Now, some officials in Pentagon want a scaled-down version of the F-47 fighter. Instead, it would be an improvement or the sixth-generation version of the F-35 in terms of capability, so that they could field them in large numbers. The fighter would be part of a larger system of system designed to work as one component to achieve its goal, rather than solely an air-dominance fighter.